time now for our rising crisis update. We're going to start where we always do with the latest in terms of numbers and what we know. Okay, we can see here in the U.S. Um, we've got 1.3 million plus cases at this point. These numbers, just as a note, these are since Thursday. That's why you see a bit more of a jump up than you normally see day to day. But 100,000 cases added since Thursday. We're now at almost 80,000 deaths with an addition of more than 6 thousand deaths since last week on Thursday. Really dire, horrible numbers there around the world. Four million plus cases. That's an addition of 300,000 since Thursday. 282,000 deaths. Um, that is an addition of 18,000 since Thursday. So, Sagar, you look at these numbers, it's hard to find much that's heartening there as those death numbers continue to climb. I mean, we had been looking at hoping that 60,000 is where it would top out. It definitely looks more like we're in that 100 to 200 range that had originally been posited by Dr. Fauci and yeah, others. It's looking at like 120, 130 is might be the ultimate result here. And yeah, I mean, it's still about 2,000 deaths per day. It's remaining pretty steady, actually. So, I mean, we've flattened the curve a little bit, but not, you know, we haven't reversed We're not the on curve. that decline. The decline that you necessarily want and part of the issue is, is that there are just rural cases and other cases. If you take New Jersey and New York out of the equation, look, you also have to account for we have a lot more testing capacity in terms of the cases yes. and all of that. But cases do seem on the rise in across the country um, in, some, in some of the non-metropolitan -met urban areas. We saw that the study came out that New York City, fleeing New York City residents, are actually the ones who seeded the virus all across the country. So mm. the rest of the country is really in for it. And one of the things we wanted to highlight here and which we gave you an update on this previously, is that the Navajo Nation now has more known coronavirus cases per capita than any other state. They have at least 3,000 cases that have been reported on the Navajo Nation, which according to their 2020 census data, means they have almost 1,700 cases or 1,800 cases per 100,000 people. That's a wow. lot of cases. And it just goes to show, look, these are some of the most neglected areas in the entire country and most, you know, some of the most vulnerable among us, and they're getting hardest hit by coronavirus. So it's just, it's terrible to see. And this is one of the things that we've seen consistently is vulnerable communities have been hit hardest in terms both of the number of cases and also in terms of the death rate, because you already know that our health system, there's tremendous inequities. So regions that and, and populations that have been underserved are so much more or at risk with all of this at the other end of the spectrum. Right. Um, the White House now, very troublingly, dealing with a potential outbreak. Um, two uh, members of the staff there, Trump's personal, one of his personal valets, and also Katie Miller, his spokesperson for Vice President Pence. They have both tested positive. That's in addition to 11 Secret Service agents. We don't know where those agents were assigned right. or who they were in contact with. Um, but look, I mean, you've spent more time in the White House mm. than I am. Very, I mean, oh, cramped tight. space is Very tight. tight space. And so they're trying to, you know, encourage more people to work from home. Home, masks, more rigorous testing, et cetera. But at least from the external appearance, it doesn't seem like they have been abundantly careful. Um, Vice President Pence still coming to work. A few members of the coronavirus task force are actually self-quarantining now that came into contact with different infected individuals. Uh, but this is, given what we are starting to know about how infectious coronavirus really is, this is very troubling. Yeah, I mean, and people at the White House getting daily tested, anybody who comes into contact with the president. I believe they caught a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff a general who was supposed to be made uh, meet with Trump was also uh, tested positive for coronavirus. So wow. it just goes to show you this. I mean, we knew this from the beginning is that this was going to permeate the highest levels of the American government. It's beginning to, to already happen. And it just goes to show that this is not over, that we are still in the middle of the fight against the virus. And yeah, when it starts, I mean, that's when people get scared. If the press, I mean, Boris Johnson, that shook the United Kingdom as it should. I think that that, that is a very and deeply scary thing. He had to go to the ICU. I mean, that's not something you want to see as a nation. So we'll just continue um, to cover the developments of that here. Yes, absolutely. And thank you so much for watching today. We'll have another crisis update for you back here tomorrow.